Hi there, this is Invasion. Today I'm going to show you two magic sliders to make smooth and sharp selections very, very quickly in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the world of Photoshop. When it comes to making quick selections in Photoshop, really quick selections, especially using the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool, the selections are pretty jagged, right? Now, what do we mean by that? Let's go ahead and use the quick selection tool, select that and make a selection of this pencil. All right, very easy to do. Make a very quick selection, just painting on the pencil, as easy as that. Let's zoom in quite a bit and let's paint on the tip. Now, as we reach the tip, we are making the brush size smaller. How do we do that? Hold the Alt or Option, the right mouse button, drag it to the left to make it smaller, drag it to the right to make it bigger. All right, make it a little smaller. So let's zoom in and let's select the tip properly. Now, when we select the tip, we might select a little extra as you can see over here. So when you select extra using the quick selection tool, you know what to do, hold the Alt. And when you do hold the Alt or Option, See, it changes to minus, which means it will subtract from the selection as you paint. So now if you paint, it will subtract from it, which means we are saying to Photoshop, we don't want these areas. We painted a little extra. Let's go back, control or command Z. Do that again. Like so, let's see. It's pretty good. Let's zoom in and let's try to erase this particular area. It's done a pretty good job. We can always go ahead and repair that using the brush tool. And let's select some extra areas which it has not selected over here. Pretty good. Let's see. This area is remaining. Now, it has done a pretty good job and pretty good selection. But have a look. If we go ahead and create a mask out of this by clicking on the mask button, it's looking pretty good, but if you put it in a black background, let's go ahead and create a solid color adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. And let's choose black and put it behind this layer. Now, it still is looking pretty good, but if you zoom in, have a look at the edge. It's very jagged. It's not looking natural. So here's what you can do. Here, the magic sliders come into rescue. Select the mask of this one, the pencil one, and you can go to Select and Mask. Now, there are a couple of ways of going inside of Select and Mask. You can always go ahead and click here or inside the Properties panel. If you cannot see the Properties panel, go to Windows and make sure Properties is checked. Now, once the Properties is checked, you can just go ahead and click here or you can also double click over here if you have set it to Select and Mask. So let's go ahead and click on Select and Mask anywhere. Now, here the magic sliders come into view. The first one is Smooth. If you go ahead, this is not the actual magic slider, but it does a pretty good job of refining the edges. So increase the smooth to the point where the jaggedness is gone. Six is pretty much fine. Even I think two would play a pretty good job. But if you want to remove all the bumps, then you can increase. But if you want to keep the bumps, just keep a lower value. But as you can see, I'll choose somewhere around say eight. That's pretty fine. Now, here the magic starts. Let's go ahead and increase the feather. Now you might think, hey, we want sharp edges. We don't want feather, but have a look. Increase the feather to the point where everything looks even, okay? Now feather is like blur for selections. Now everything looks pretty even, pretty nice. Now. As you can see, a little bit more extra is selected. Don't worry about that. Just make sure everything is pretty even. When there is everything even, just increase the contrast. Have a look what happens when you do that. The selection becomes sharp, doesn't it? Now, if you think it's selecting a little extra, you can always go ahead and shift the edge inside. If you want to shift the edge inside, take it to the left like that. But we don't want to do it so much. We want to do it just a little like that. See, it's selecting a little extra over there. Increase the contrast even more for a sharper edge. Now, you can always go ahead and clear this out very quickly, very nicely later. But once you're satisfied with this, hit OK. Now have a look at it. It's pretty good, pretty damn nice. Now, if you want to repair it, take the brush. You can always take the brush, make the size a little smaller and then just like that. Make sure the foreground color is white. Remember, what's the concept of mask? White are the areas which show up, black are the areas which hide. So 
if I just show you the mask by holding the Alt or Option and click on in here, see this area is white which means the pencil is showing up, the background is black which means it's hiding. So if I hold the Alt or Option, click on it again, as you can see. So we're gonna bring some of the areas back by making sure the foreground color is white and then just paint in like that. If you wanna make sure you're painting in straight lines, here's what you can do. Just click once over there, dab once, just like that, hold the shift key and dab once over here. That way you will paint a straight line. You can try it, it's a pretty cool trick, works amazingly like that. But as you can see, you're selecting a little extra by doing that. And when you do that, when you want straight edges, but there is a little white over there, here's what you can do. Let me give you one more tip, okay? Chose black, paint once and paint now it's straight. Now as you can see, there's a white edge over there. How do we reduce it? Create a new layer, select the clone stamp tool, okay? Now, what you can do, you can sample this area and paint over here. But if you do that, it will just take outside, take it outside of the edge. So you can clip this layer to this one. How do we do that again? Hold the alter option, click on the line between these two layers, and as you can see, the icon has changed to a square with an arrow. Just do that and voila. Whatever you do will be clipped, will be limited to this pencil, okay? Sample this and paint on this area. Sample this, paint on this area. Now that is taken care of. Sample this and let's take care of that area. And you have a sharp selection of this pencil. Now you might have to take a sample from over here and then paint and you get the whole idea how this kind of works before, after. So this kind of fills in, if you think it's too much, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity of this thing. So this, these are very minute things which you can do to get your selection look very right. You can do this here as well to really go ahead and make a perfect selection of the pencil. Now if you zoom out, as you can see, very perfect selection. You can use it in an advertisement. So those are the two magic sliders, feather and contrast along with smooth. Just to sum it up, first of all, make a selection using the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool, whatever is your favorite. Once you make a selection, create a mask out of it. Then enter select and mask. Once you enter select and mask, you will find a slider called smooth. Increase the smooth slider to the point that you think where the jagged lines are gone. If you want to remove the bumps, increase it even more. Then increase the feather. Increase the feather to the point where everything is even to the point what you desire. Once it is even, don't worry about the edges so much. Increase the contrast. This will sharpen the edges. Then you can shift the edge if it selects a little extra or if it selects a little less, you can shift the edge to the right accordingly. And then hit OK. Then you can improve the selection using the clone stamp tool or whatever you like and you know the rest. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.